So, um, 10 years of Arab Denmark, mm. it's quite amazing, isn't it? So, my name is Christian, I'm an architect and I'm also the city's business leader. So, when I joined, we had like a small temporary office. It was difficult to get a sense of belonging beyond, of course, being part of Arab and, and delivering great works. I think over the past 10 years, uh, everybody who has been involved in the establishment of this office has been working really hard. What's your favourite moment then from your, your time here in Denmark? The first project that we won, the bridge in Frederiksund, that was all Arab, including architecture. My name is uh, Salman Ahmed and I'm a structural engineer. For me personally, it would be the first project that I worked on, the fueling Frederiksund. Working on the project at first in our office, and then later stage, I was on site full time. My name is Cordelia Overland, and I'm a civil engineer. I think for me, certainly Bispebjerg Hospital, it's the project that I moved over for in 2017. It was the first buildings project in Copenhagen, and it really kind of set up a lot of the relationships we have within our Europe region. On that, I would like to mention the Freeman Belt uh, fixed link project. It will be the longest immersed tunnel in the world and it's a huge construction project. I think that's what's amazing in, in Denmark or in Scandinavia is backing by the government of all these projects that you can win a project, design it, see it through construction and actually go to the opening all within seven years. For me the biggest memory still is outstanding is the opening of City Ringen. When I joined here I was four years working on City Ringen before it eventually opened and uh, that was a real milestone so being able to go onto the metro for the first time and seeing people to be excited on the metro it really made me realize the the impact that our office was actually having on the city and that's because we were working with a really a visionary client who wanted to push the boundaries of sustainable construction sustainable design and rethink how you design a metro. I'm Pietro Zanetti I work as a geotechnical engineer for City Ringen Metro yeah. My team and I have come up with a solution for the problem of uplift on the underground station boxes. They showed me that with a robust solution you can lead to excellence and if you own the design you can further optimize it. For example by reducing the amount of concrete and steel to be used on site. You know, same thing for Camp Adventure, you know, um, and how much press coverage and just how beautiful it's turned out. Especially looking back at um, the first few meetings with the client who was quite unique. I think for um, just looking ahead into the future for Denmark, I think uh, one of the things I've been concentrating on the past few years is to try and diversify what we're doing. So maintain um, and still grow the relationships with our existing uh, clients. I think we're going to a transition period, you know, much more focused now on sustainability, digital cities. Still embracing the needs of a wider society. So meeting the targets of climate change, cities development and nature biodiversity. If we want to achieve excellence and continue to shape a better world, consistency is key. I think most importantly we have a great collective uh, of motivated, uh, bright mind. So, As I mentioned, I, I really see a lot of uh, dedicated and ambitious people in this office and uh, I'm sure that uh, also with the interesting projects we're working on, the future is, uh, it looks bright. <laughs>